In part two of these tutorials, we're looking at the area of preferences and default settings. Now a really important area for you to become familiar with is preferences. Now you'll find this up on the toolbar. Let's go to home. And in this home area, this is where you set your default location for any current transit charts. So for me, it's going to be Melbourne, Australia. But if I want to change anything, I can go to select, I can go to my favorites, I can go to recently used, or I can go across to this arrow here. When locating a place in the US, we need to use the state and not put USA in this area here. So the next thing that we can do is look for places in California once we've put that state in. And then we simply select it and it gets calculated. Now one of the things that um, makes these charts so interesting is by changing the colour scheme. Now I just want you to keep your eye on this area here and I'm just going to click on dark and you've got dark mode that comes up. I can also click it on auto too. So this can change depending on the time of the day. I can also display it in monochrome too. I can also print in monochrome. So I'm just gonna turn this off and let's get back to this area. Now let's go into the displayed area. Now, as you can see, you've got displayed points default I've got it currently set on and you've got a drop down menu that you can actually have a look at and have a play with now here is where once again you can add and subtract what you're what you're wanting in these charts there's another one there I can also add extra points too. Now there's another drop down menu. Now just before I added part of Fortune, people often ask where you can add these extra points. Well, this is the area. So you're in preferences and in displayed and go to one extra point. What about part of friends? So let's double click on that and there it is there and I'm going to apply that and that will appear as well. So there's part of friends and there's part of fortune. And of course, I can save this as and click okay. And there it is there. Well, now let's look at the aspected. So what you're seeing at the moment, what I've highlighted here, this is displayed here and they're aspected. I can change to any one of these or I can create this myself. Let's have a look at, at aspects. And of course you can see through here that I have a number of um, uh, points checked and it's telling me what's applying, the degree that I've set this for and what's separating. All of this you can edit. You can save as well. So you've got choices and you can delete ones too. So I've got it currently set on standard and there's a drop down menu and you can use any one of these. Have a look at the wheel. Now the wheel is probably fun for, for me because I like to change things up a little bit. Now, as you know, we only have one chart that's displayed. So what I'll be using is UniChart. If I had two charts there, I would be selecting buy. Same with try and four wheels as well. So let's have a look at the UniChart. And I've got some options here. So have a, let's have a look at the Euro wheel. We can go to wheels and let's change the color. And you can see it's fairly light there. Have a look at this area here, tint intensity. And let's just move this across. And you can see that you've got more intensity in color on the outer side and on the inside as well. 
The other area that I want to bring your attention to is the auto chart ring colors. Now if I check this as well, you'll see changes come in. It just gives it a bit more intensity. Turn this on and this off. Down here, we can customize the planets as well. So we can make changes to what we want. We can make everything all black. We can maybe go to king colors. And then I've put Kerry Ann's choice. So anytime I want to create a new chart, I can come into preferences and I can start to create something a little bit different or just have a whole host of different styles just to make my charts a little bit more interesting. Now let's go to the sign glyphs and let's make some changes to that. Just go into the area of preferences. We're in wheels. Now let's go to the sign fill now, and of course the aspects. Now these are the areas that you want, might want to play around with because it makes it much more interesting and easier for your clients or teaching as well. Go all black or create your own like I've done. Let's go down to where you can show the aspect lines. So at the moment I've got them ticked. Turning them on and off is easy. You're in the area of wheels. We may not want to have the glyphs showing. We may want to have thicker aspected lines for tighter orbs. And we may want to have fainter aspect lines for looser orbs. You've got the dial point and the midpoints as well you can set those and you've got you can also set your maximum orb as well and you're going to find all of this in preferences in the area of wheels area of preferences but we've now moved to calculations now this is the area that you want to go to before you start creating your charts because you want to set everything up so if you click into these areas, you can start to set these all to default. Our section in preferences is dynamic and it's here that you can start to make some changes or create your own as well. Now a number of these I've actually created myself and some of them are by default as well. So it's really an area that you can build on by creating here. You can also clone and of course you can edit as well.